Over the last 20 years or so, Cy Swan and I have worked together a lot. We've teamed up on various blacksmith commissions from elaborate gates to swords and knives. We've helped our friends and we've jumped in on different projects at each other's places and it has been terrific. And today we're moving a new power hammer into his old shop because he has worked the guts out of this old bull power hammer over the last, I think, almost 40 years. And then after we're done with that project, stick around to the end to get a look at what may be the sketchiest move that he and I have pulled off so far. Winching an iron railing up onto his second story deck using the ATV winch on the front of his four-wheeler. Now I've known about big blue power hammers for quite a while, but I've never really got up close to one until today. Right away, the design and the workmanship impressed me. It looked great. And one of the unexpected but deeply appreciated facts turned out to be that the whole thing is just not that heavy for a 110-pound power hammer because 600 pounds of dry sand is designed to be poured into some of the cavities after it's in place. That's smart. On my way up here, I stopped and borrowed a Johnson bar to help with this project, and I was darn glad we had it. But the real MVPs were the Temco toe jack, and not one, not two, but three Burke bars. They did loosen up. Could you feel it, that it was loose just yeah, by the I way? Yeah, I could feel it. Well, I was hearing it more than anything else. Huh. I think both hearing and feeling. You could feel it. It doesn't feel solid. Huh. You know, it's jiggling a little bit. And... See how the... the Holes are disappearing. Yep, they are. Well, we'll get them all hammered out and then we'll go grind on it. Cool. And what this is doing and, and what where you get the patterns and everything out of the Damascus is by bringing the inside of it out. Okay. And exposing the inner layers, uh -huh. whether it's in a, a raindrop or a ladder or a mosaic, you're bringing that the ingrain to the surface. Uh -huh. This thing will hit 220 times a minute. Wow. I don't know that I could control it that fast. As you can tell, Cy loves this power hammer. He loves the control, the power, and the versatility in the selection of the dies. And what this means is that the 110 pound Big Blue checks every single box that a power hammer needs to check. This is the oiler. That's the oiler. This is the pressure regulator and a dryer. So hmm. this is the off and on valve and it likes to run on dry dry air with oil in it. Huh. This is a nice this is a nice compact setup. It's it's unitized to where you're getting a filter, an oiler, and a drain and a filter all in one unit and it's it's pretty cool. I'm really liking the hammer. It uh, it seems to be working real good for me. We've got a few things like, like those, those valve slipping that I hadn't dealt with before and that one die catching that I hadn't seen before but I hadn't put these big flat dies in there and they're 
obviously got some edges that can't stand to go up in there that far. Uh, but like anything else, there's probably a few bugs that you're going to... Basically, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, it's just a matter of adjustment and, and learning the quirks of the hammer. Uh, I'm well pleased. It's about an inch out of plumb. I haven't talked to the engineer there about how much that's hurting it. I can't see that it's a whole lot of problem. But if I got a big diamond grinder and ground that stump or that pad off a little bit, I could true that up. And I think probably that's what we'll do if we, if we tend to go that way, if we end up doing that. So uh, other than that, I like it fine. I, uh, I checked the oil in the oil system the other day and I would manage to get the cup off, but I couldn't get it back on. And I had my son come in and help me and he just put it on there and, and went like this and it went back on. I'd been trying to screw that thing on for <laughs> two hours. Anyhow, we'll shut this thing off. They recommend that you turn the air off and drain it and then treadle it once to make sure it's empty. So you may remember, we were up here a couple years ago rebuilding this, the deck for Cy and Maxine Swan, and the deck's working pretty good, but I shorted it on screws a little bit, and so we've been up here for the last couple days doubling up the screwing in the, through the deck because it was kind of creaky, and putting new decking on a little deck that was in the second floor that we just didn't take care of before, but we've taken care of it now. I'm gonna show you what we've done, and I'm gonna show you this last maneuver, which involves a gin pole out of a two by six, the winch on the front of his ATV, and more than a little reliance on good luck and guardian angels. All right, so this scaffold has been more than just useful. The deck is up there. Maxine has repainted the railing, and now we've gotta raise this railing. It weighs a couple hundred pounds using that gin pole and uh, a lot of nice, cool, calm, collected chance taking. Okay, so this is the deck. We had exactly the right number of boards, sort of. Had to put one little splice in there. And this wonderful example of on-the-job engineering is the uh, anchor point for a gin pole, which is a 25-year-old 2x6 with a 30-year-old poly rope holding a snatch block. It's going to provide the anchor point for that winch to lift that railing. The railing's probably 200 pounds, so I just keep thinking, would this whole menagerie hold up me? And uh, Surely that's a reasonable criteria. Jen is working. Big strain. Okay, hold it. Okay, take a strain. Hold it. Take a strain. Hold it. And a strain. Hold it. Take the nut off of that bowl. Good idea. Hold it. Take a strain. Take a strain. Hold it. There was just a little bit of pressure associated with getting this deck done because Maxine was having a party. I think she maybe had 25 guests invited. And she let me know that she was counting on me to have that thing done well before she had to pronounce the house ready and we made it and i was relieved thanks for watching essential craftsmen and keep up the good work